I'm going to bring out the full force that I have, and we're going to see what these guys got. You know what I mean? We're going to see what they got. We're going to, I'm going to bring out my, my, my best and my brightest, and I'm going into Ukraine, and if those guys can fight and they got some power, well, then they'll hold us all. If they don't, we're going to go through them like a hot knife through butter. That's kind of what I think. I think that the situation may be that the Russians have said, all right, this thing needs to end in and in now and we're coming down we're, we're coming there and now we've been tiptoeing around we've been mr nice guy that ain't happening no more we're coming at him with everything and i'm just saying i don't know that that's true but i think that is a possibility that's one context through which you could view um uh erdogan's plan uh, erdogan's statements um the other thing i think you've got to take into account as i said before you've got to take into account that before the special military operation started President Putin met with President Xi. Now he's meeting with President Xi again. Now, let me add this. Oh, God, I got to find it. Uh, oh, no, I got the email right here. So this is interesting. This is going to, I got some inside info. I bet you haven't seen this one. Watch this. Ah, ha, ha. Where are we? You're going to like this. Well, I mean, you ain't going to like none of this. I don't like any of this. I want peace, right? But I think this is a... Very interesting piece of information. Okay. The editor-in-chief of Russia Today, Margarita Semenyan or something, I can never get her name right. But at any rate, so she made a tweet. She tweeted this morning, the editor-in-chief of Russia Today. And the tweet was, listen to this tweet. Judging by what is happening and still about to happen, this week marks either the eve of our imminent victory or the eve of of nuclear war. Nobody else is reporting that but me. Nobody has caught that. Nobody's picked that up. And I'm not saying that to brag, but I'm just saying that you're watching this. You're getting a tidbit that's very important. Listen again. Here's what she does. And she's the editor-in-chief. So that's Russia Today. That's Sputnik. That's all of that. And she says, let's analyze what she said. Let's, let's, do, let's do a statement an an analysis like I used to do when I was in investigations, right? Judging by what is happening and still about to happen, right? So what do we know? Something was going on at that time. To me, most sounds like meetings and determination, right? And a still about to happen. That sounds like to me, like the Russian Security Council, the Russian military people, Putin, et cetera, were having some meetings and they had some plans of things to do happen and she knew it. She said, okay. Judging by what is happening, still about to happen this week, so that's this week, not next week, not the week after, right now, shit's about to get thick, she says. This week marks either, and there's two things, the now, and this is important, marks either the eve of our imminent victory. In other words, what's going to happen will precipitate our imminent, imminent victory. Now, I can interpret that to me. It sounds like you're saying we're sending down the dogs. It sounds like you're saying we're getting ready to send a force into Ukraine that's going to stomp, these, stomp this thing out. That's what it sounds like to me. She says, this week marks either the eve of our imminent victory. And she didn't say our imminent victory, the eve of our imminent, imminent victory, based on what's about to happen, What's happening, in other words, meetings, et cetera, what's about to happen, whatever their plan is, it marks either the eve of our imminent victory, meaning what we're getting ready to do is we're putting something together that's going to whoop ass and take names. The eve of our imminent victory. To keep in mind something. She didn't say dragged out. She didn't say we're slowly going to grind these people down. She said imminent victory, the eve. So either... We're getting ready to whip ass and take names and finish this thing and blow this damn thing to pieces and be done with it because we have the power to do it. Look, people have said from the beginning that understood the Russian military. If the Russian military was of a mind to use the force that they have, they could have ended this a lot faster, but they didn't. They used the Donbass militia and they supported the Donbass militia. But if they were of a mind to send in the dogs and to really put some horsepower in there, they could have ended it a long time ago. It sounds to me when she says, this week marks either the eve of our imminent victory, we're getting ready to put things together and squash this. Now listen what she says, or the eve of nuclear war. So I think what she's saying is Putin's going to come down out possibly and lay down the law and say, look, 
we get ready to make our move. I don't know if he's going to say something to the West, say, damn it, you better do this or not, or this or not, or whatever the case may be. But it certainly sounds like something's about to go down. And at minimum, I think it's going to be a powerful force going into Ukraine, which means at that point, the Biden administration got two options. They can try to match that power, which would mean American power, for instance, blah, 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 which would mean World War III. And as she says, nuclear war.